This is Fox 45 News in the Morning. May is National High Blood Pressure Education Month, and joining me this morning is Dr. Tom Schwederman to talk about the importance of getting your blood pressure measurements, and I'm going to get my blood pressure right now live on the air because there are things you need to know as a patient when it comes to getting your blood pressure done right. the right way. Correct. It's really important as a patient that you know that your blood pressure is being taken properly. A lot of times you go to the doctor and they put you in the chair and you immediately start getting your blood pressure taken. It takes about three to five minutes for your blood pressure to get to its resting state. If you're not in a resting state, you have a chance of your blood pressure being measured too high, which is a problem because that could be the difference between treatment or non-treatment. So what tips do you have for me? Well, the American Heart Association has very clear guidelines. They want to have your feet flat on the floor. Okay. They want to make sure we're taking the blood pressure on a bare arm. The, the cuff should be at the heart height. The back should be supported. And while we're taking the blood pressure, there should be no talking and you should have an empty bladder. All right, so as we take it, you're gonna to have to fill the void because I can't talk right now. So what else should we know about high blood pressure? What kind of health problems can it create? Blood pressure is a really uh, national problem that's getting to be more important as far as managing chronic disease. Hang on a second, I'll get your blood pressure here in a sec. I'm worried mine will be high with all the weather coverage this morning, but it's always kind of nerve wracking too. As right. you wait. They call that white coat hypertension. When you have your blood pressure taken by a doctor, you do have some nerves associated with it. And that can raise your blood pressure too. You're actually pretty good. You're about 135 over 85, which is not considered too bad. Um, but the importance of blood pressure is really around the fact that blood goes everywhere in the body. It goes to the brain, goes to the kidney, goes to the heart. So if your blood pressure is too high, those organs get that impact. What are some simple, easy ways to bring those numbers down? Well, obviously, stress, uh, salt, you know, anything you do that's going to create a, an abnormal sense of stress in your body is going to have an impact on your blood pressure. The number one thing that we recommend patients do when they do have high blood pressure is get in shape. Let your heart work a little less hard to get the blood around the body, get your blood vessels a little more compliant with the fitness, and watch your diet. All right, Dr. Tom Schwederman, thank you so much for coming in here and doing this the right way so now I know to go and ask for it next time I'm at the doctor's Fantastic. office. Let's go over to Greg for a check of the weather.